for a pay-per-view by the name of Extreme Rules, there's not much extreme on the card. Like, at, at all. Out of all the championship matches that we are having on this show, none of them, and I mean none of them, have an Extreme Rules match. Not even a ladder match. Today, I am going to be giving you guys my predictions for this Sunday's Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Liv Morgan is set to go one-on-one -on -one with Carmella. Now, this match was randomly made about when Liv Morgan and Tony Storm teamed up against Carmella and Zelina Vega. The, the match ended with Carmella and Zelina leaving because Carmella apparently broke her nose and Liv Morgan would go on to challenge Carmella for a match. It felt a little random since we didn't really see either of the superstars on SmackDown over the last few weeks. But the only bright side to this match even taking place at the pay-per-view is it gives Liv Morgan TV time. Everyone basically loves her. And now her getting this match against Carmella, this is going to elevate her indeed. So my prediction is Liv Morgan with the W. Triple Threat United States Championship. Damian Priest versus Jeff Hardy versus Sheamus. Now originally this match was supposed to be only between Sheamus and Damian Priest. But Jeff Hardy earned the opportunity to get into this match by defeating Sheamus this past Monday on Raw. Which is why this match is now a triple threat. And for this match, this match could have been an incredible ladder match. Like WWE could have booked this match to be a ladder match at Extreme Rules. Just imagine. Oh my god, man. Another mistake by WWE right there. But when it comes to my prediction, I think it is way too early for Damian Priest to drop the United States Championship. As much as I would love for Jeff Hardy to win the United States title, I think Damian Priest needs to hold on to it for a few more months at least. Because I am honestly loving what he's doing on Raw. WWE are really treating him like a superstar. And I see that continuing after Extreme Rules. So with that being said, I see Damian Priest retaining. Usos versus Street Profits SmackDown Tag Team championship match another match that could have been an extreme rules match we've seen this match quite a few times over the last few months and it's really unfortunate that we are not getting a single stipulation for this tag title match the street profits have had the momentum on their side as of late but i do not see them winning the championship i think it is too early for the usos to drop the titles plus i do not see them dropping it anytime soon anyway so with that being said the usos to retain. Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair for the SmackDown Women's Championship. A match that I am actually really looking forward to. I think the build was sort of interesting. They are slowly building up to this Becky Lynch heel turn. She's technically a heel. I think we all already know that. But we see piece by piece, brick by brick, every single week. And it's only getting started. But when it comes to the prediction, I would love for Bianca to win the championship. But I do not see that happening. When it comes to my predictions, I really see Sasha Banks actually costing Bianca Belair the championship. Now, there are no rumors about Sasha returning anytime soon. But my prediction is Becky Lynch to retain thanks to the assist by Sasha Banks. Raw Women's Championship. Charlotte Flair versus Alexa Bliss. Now, to be quite honest with you, this rivalry and whatever is going on is not that bad. Like, I'm not hating on it. It is definitely not the the highlight of Raw, but it's quite bearable. That's all I'm going to say. Um, Now, Alexa Bliss is actually competing in her hometown of Columbus, Ohio at Extreme Rules. And I would not be surprised if WWE give it to Alexa Bliss. But... I have the feeling that Charlotte Flair is going to retain. I feel like she really needs to have maybe a few more months with the championship. Otherwise, it's not going to solidify herself as a true champion. I feel like what WWE have been doing for a few years now is just having her drop the title, win the title, drop the title, win the title. But I feel like Charlotte, with this title reign, needs to hold on to it for a few more months or maybe until WrestleMania. Those are just some ideas. So I predict Charlotte Flair to retain. Universal Championship, Roman Reigns versus the Demon Finn Balor. Now, this match, I wish I was a lot more excited for. I'm still excited for it, don't get me wrong. But I feel Finn Balor is still third-wheeling this match, this rivalry. Because ever since he made his return on the main roster, he was going right after that Universal Championship. But John Cena signed the contract, and then Balor was sort of third-wheeling it. Then... Finn Balor gets back into the title picture. Brock Lesnar is now 
the main focus, which makes Finn Balor third wheel once again. And it's already been announced that Roman Reigns is set to face Brock Lesnar at Crown Jewel for the Universal Championship. But technically, the match could still happen at Crown Jewel if Finn Balor wins the title. I mean, it could be possible. I'm just saying, honestly, man, I really want Finn Balor to win. But I also really want Roman Reigns to win. I feel like Finn Balor winning the championship at Extreme Rules could be awesome, but I don't see it happening. My prediction is going to be Roman Reigns to retain the championship, but to protect the Demon, I see Brock Lesnar actually costing the Demon the match so Brock could get his one-on-one -on -one match. Brock is not technically a babyface, he's more of a tweener, so I see Brock Lesnar costing Finn Balor the match. That way we still get Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar at Crown Jewel. Alright guys, I'm going to end it here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like if you have not already. And if you are new, hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want to help me even more and support me, check out my social medias down in the description. And it has been EG Flames. And I'll see you guys in the next one.